Ricardo Juncos, you are trying to do big things here on your return. Familiar seeing your name on the barriers. We now add Brad Hollinger's name as well. Another cool thing you're doing, you're also making sure that education, mechanics, engineers, could be accounting, could be public relations. Tell me about this relationship with Purdue University trying to groom IndyCar's next generation crew under the tent. I think it's, uh, I'm very excited about this alliance of, you know, with Purdue University. I'm always fan and a big pusher of education. I remember when I, I want to be a race car driver and I want to get to Formula One and obviously I couldn't. The money barrier was there for me. So I went to school. So I went to design engineer and racing and engines. So I'm a technician, I have three careers. People doesn't know that, but uh, only, only motor racing, even before I can actually race cars a little bit, and then obviously we gotta stop. So that opened the door for me for many things. And I will get lucky to work in official Peugeot team in Argentina, one weekend in Jordan F1 in 1997. Wow. Um, and I, I like it, right? So I always, push myself to, to learn as much as possible in the theoretical in Argentina, which the Argentina at that time was not much level like you cannot compare to, to Purdue. So having the, the road to Indy teams and the Pro Mazda and, or Indy Pro 2000 now, the Indy Lights, I think allow us to, to bring these kids and give them the, 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 the practical experience, which some yeah. of them they don't have just in the university. So now we're doing both things. In the Purdue, they can do the, the theoretical things and with us, can do the, the practical things and they eventually they grow in a, in a way they want. And like you mentioned, in motor racing today, a racing team opens up for many people. Legal aspect, graphic design, safety, engineers, uh, I mean... It's not just turning wrenches. Exactly, you need a lawyer, you need an accounting, you need, exactly, a truck driver, you know, you're talking to DOT department with the transportation. And so it's, you can go to school for many things and you're always gonna have an option in, in motor racing. So it's, it's that complicated. So I think we, I try to explore marketing, digital marketing, I mean, uh, many, many things, analysis of materials and all that, that is even more than the race car itself, or just be a mechanic. So I like that challenge and I think that opportunity with us will probably, as, as we go, as we move forward, and these people coming to Hunko Hollinger Racing in the future, maybe that help even Purdue to have more students signing yeah. up for them because they would like to continue with the same path. And even people from other countries. So I have a lot of Argentinians ask me well, what is cool in, in Indianapolis to, to be motor racing. So I obviously refer to, to Purdue. So I think can help both, both ways. Um, I know Danny White from many years and we always talk about this, but we never actually did it until now. So I'm very happy. Last question for you, Ricky. So this team of yours coming out for the last three IndyCar races this year, you're hoping to do well with Callum Eilat, get ready for a full season mm -hmm. next year. This Purdue relationship, why, while it might not give you every person you want for 2022, we were speaking earlier, there is a real need to develop talent because if you look throughout the paddock, you want more people, you want folks with bigger education in this area or that area. This is a program that can have real world benefits, not just some fun educational stuff. No, I agree, and that's the vision that I have, right? So I think we are now in general speaking, probably in the right time at the right place. Uh, looking forward like in our team we just start now this year with the three races as you say right preparation for the the full time next year but i want to look at one two three four five years ahead um, and like you said the lack of, of people of knowledge a lot of, a lot of computers and technology today so the world changed a lot but still race car with engine and tires so we need to we missing a little bit the basics in my opinion so i think we want to go back to the basics as well. So you not only give the technology and the softwares and the simulation and all these modern things that the kid does, but we need to give them the, the basics. So that's what I say, we need to look forward. So like you said, Purdue maybe is not gonna help in 22, 23, but we start planting some seeds that can grow in the future and we can you know, take young people and, and build them the way we want it with different type of philosophy. Remember, I came from Argentina, which is, uh, many things are different, uh, no better or worse in my opinion, but the American culture is, is fantastic in some, some ways, but a mix. And this is a diversity in this, even in IndyCar as a whole. You see how many drivers with different nationality and people from all over the world. So I think in the same way, we can teach different things mm. and we maybe a, a little bit different as, a, as compared to other IndyCar team that we can maybe have a mix, which I think maybe works in the future, but you need time, right? 
Come on, Purdue students. Ricky has like 19 <laughs> different teams, Road to Indy, IndyCar. I don't even want to know what else you're doing. This guy needs people. It's a smart play. You're, it's your own private staffing. You can, you can admit it. This is just for you. Anyways, Ricky, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you much.